Yesterday, I briefly touched upon how great leaders need to be able to balance what's urgent with what's important. And this is the tension of business generally and has been for a long time. There's always the fire to put out. There's always the quarterly earnings targets and goals that we need to meet. But then there's also thinking about the long-term sustainability and growth. There's building a foundation of what will be possible in the future while we're also trying to achieve goals now. And leaders who have been managing for a while know about that tension between those two priorities. When we are driven too much by what's urgent, we become reactionary. We're constantly responding to what lands on our plate in the morning, what emails we get, and we don't give enough time to thoughtfully crafting the future of the organization. Culture is one way to solve for that problem, to identify what cultural beliefs your employees need to have in order to act in a way that balances the short and the long term. And then leaders need to create the experiences necessary to reinforce those cultural beliefs consistently over time, many, many different experiences, not just an announcement about priorities. Left unchecked and without the right leadership, any workforce is going to default to focusing on the urgent task. It's deadline-driven. What is the next immediate thing that needs to get done? But the companies that win are those that create space and time for employees to think about what's important, which is not what's happening now, but rather the thing that will create the most significant impact or change in the organization for long-term sustainable growth and ultimately achieving your purpose.